In ball one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Well, that was a terrible start. Why didn't you fall off? You good little mindless beetle. Drone thing. Uh, I do miss that sound. Oh well, and welcome to this episode of Let's Try Series brought to you by me, Mr. Houndimmer. Today's featured game is Sonic the Hedgehog, a Sega classic. Uh oh. Wait. Wait. Okay, now we're good. We're good. Alright. A is jump. B also does jump. Down is down. Up looks up. Left, right. Um, let's see. Get out my handy dandy notes over here. C is the left bumper, which is still jump. X is X. Y is Y. Z is the right bumper. I'm trying to remember how to do the little fast thing. Where you like go a little bit faster. Oh no, oh no. No, no, no. Just gotta free the little animals. Now these games, I used to be, I did have the second one as a kid. Played the crud out of it, of course. Love those games. Isn't this thing supposed to like break? How in the... Can I just land on those? Oh, okay, cool. Does it come back though? Anyways, I did have some of these games. I think we had the second one and then the pinball one. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, that worked out pretty crappily. Thanks a lot for that. And that is why I don't speed through these games anymore. I used to have them memorized. Oh, okay. Well, we cannot hit it from the bottom. And as soon as we... <sighs> yeah, you know, I remember these games fondly, but I also remember how incredibly frustrating they could be. Which was very, very frustrating. Ha! Not getting me this time. How the heck do we do the... Oh, crud. No! Oh my gosh, seriously? Okay, it threw us into that. That was crap. Alright, trying to figure out how to do... Wow, I can't believe they just... Totally... Okay. Well, okay, we just get to die again. This may be a short one. These games have not aged well. I'm not quite as good at them as I used to be either. I used to be able to speed through these things with no problem. Just choo 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 choo. Looking back, how I ever did that, I have no idea. Oh, finally, we got a checkpoint. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, really? I only grabbed a bunch of these things. Why would I expect it to, you know, actually grab them when I grabbed them? That's just a crazy thought. Whee! Although the going fast part was pretty fun when you got the hang of it. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, cool. Oh, no! Well, that was a terrible start. I definitely do still remember this music fondly. I really wish it would... 
let me do the deal to where you can... Like, do you have to push two buttons at once? I know this was one of the more basic Sega Genesis games because it was one of the earlier ones that came out, but... I was thinking that there was a way to... What is it over here? Nope, 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 nope. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Well then. No, no, no. No, no, no. Whee! I will take that. And jump over that. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Got his checkpoint. Awesome. Oh my gosh, little chameleons. What the heck? I don't remember those. But as I said, I remember mostly playing the second one where you could have Tails. Or Sonic. Nope. There we go. Just try to get in that thing. Or trying to hit it. I know I'm probably missing a lot of stuff, but you're going to have to bear with me. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Quit. Quit. There we go. We're doing all right so far. Try to remember what it is that you can't touch. There's something you're not supposed to touch because it ends it. Whoops, apparently I did it. <clears throat> oh, we cleared the special stage? Oh, got an extra life out of it. Very nice. And the little Sonic there is pretty cute. That's that's awesome looking. Green Hill Zone 3. I see you up there. Boing. Oh, dang it. Really, really don't like how inconsistent a lot of the stuff is on here. At least that's how it feels. What the heck was that? Okay, somehow we got hit by that thing when we still were glowing from the star. Okay. And we are going all the way back. I just kind of went with it. Oh, cool. We can move fast now. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Go, 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 go. I'm trying to get to a hundred of these things. I think you have to make it to the end with the hundred, though. What is it? There we go. There's 65. Only 35 more to go. Yeah. That totally seems possible. Not. I'm being very sarcastic. What is this? Why are we doing this? Oh, those drop. Oh, crud. Why didn't you fall off? Be a good little mindless beetle. Drone thing. Nope. Never trust a... Oh, really? Well, alright. Well, we're done with this. Yep, I know. I know. Yep, don't care. Don't care. Take me to the end. I, d I don't care about the rings anymore. You already ruined that, so... Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, we just got an extra life. Why are we having to continue now? That makes zero sense. What's the point of the extra life if we have to continue as soon as we lose one life? That's not how game logic works. I'll take that, though. Even though we're going to lose it pretty soon, because this game hates for you to have stuff like that. 
Hey, it's a bat. It's a rabbit. Oh, crud. Ah, uh, I complain a lot, but all in all, these are pretty good nostalgic games. Very frustrating still. Very, very, very infuriatingly frustrating. And I stand by that. No one is going to change my mind on that. No, no, no. I don't want to go this way. Um, hmm. Ah. There we go. here. I know you're over there. Oh. No, you don't. Oh, crud. Oh my gosh, that scared the crud out of me. Something up here. Boom. We're at 89. Alright, checkpoint. So we should be able to get. Wait, are we at the boss? We're at the boss, aren't we? Yeah, we're at the boss fight. Alright. Really? I mean, I only hit, you know, dodged it like 20 times, but sure, sure. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Alright, fine, we'll just go back then. Just not gonna complete this stage. We'll do that. See how you like that, Dr. Robotnik. Can I just attack you from here? Oh, crud. Um, let's see. Can I dodge that? Yes. No! Ah, dead comet. Oh, crud. Okay. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy. And then we just go to the end. I mean, it wasn't that hard, right? Into the Green Hill Zone. Not like we struggled like crazy in that one. Marble zone? Oh no, this is the one where I usually end up dying. Uh, this is the one with the underwater stuff. That's some int- oh, and lava. So no underwater stuff right now. I think you can't hit the centipedes on the spiky parts, right? Let's find out. Yep, yep, okay, they still break apart, but you lose all your stuff as you lose all your stuff with any teeny tiny little thing that goes slightly off course and not perfect. Which is so incredibly annoying. Alright. They really did something cool with this though. It was nice they tried something and it worked and is still remembered fondly to this day. I think it's more nostalgia, to be honest. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this for? Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I gotta push this over onto this. There we go. 
Okay, did not see those spikes. But to be fair, they are clearly there. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, let's see. It's hard to tell which ones are actually gonna fall. I think they do that on purpose though, just to be jerks. Whoa. That was not okay, guys. Ah, uh, why? Okay, I was stuck. Why was I flipping stuck? That's kinda bad. Oh my gosh. Wait, what was the point of the protective shield if I just died? Okay, that makes no sense. Alright, well, I think we got the gist of this one. Like I said, it's a game that I've played many times as a kid. Fun game, and remembered fondly, but... On to the rating. Alright. The music is good, these levels are easily recognized with the music in these games. The enemies are colorful and present different challenges with each one to keep you on your toes. Overall, it's a good platformer, but there's a lot of inconsistencies with the enemies, power-ups, and obstacles. For example, having a shield but still getting taken out in one shot by getting squished, I guess, when it didn't even actually touch me, and so on and so on. Anyways, this one gets a 6 out of 10 from me. This may be an unpopular opinion, but this is my rating based on my experiences. It's still a good game and one I would recommend Sonic fans check out as it's the one that started the popular franchise. And for the time period, it was still... They were trying to do a lot of unique stuff with it. Some of it worked, some of it didn't. But, I mean, that's what happens when you do stuff like this. Anyways, that is going to do it for me here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Really do appreciate it, and it lets me know what kind of games to do next. Let me know in the comments what game you would like to see next on the Sega Genesis. Subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an episode or a live stream when those come up. Uh, follow me on Twitter, MrHoundDoom1, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks, all.